Hey, French Horns, welcome back. This is part two of the brass warm up page. So, in the previous video, we looked at just the top part, the warm up section. This is going to be just this one line here called lip slurs. Now, eventually, we're going to get a little more complicated with the lip slurs. We're going to do them over a greater range, but there are just two lip slurs on this page. And for this purposes of this video, I'm going to leave it that way. So, um, just two sections. The first lip slur, what a lip slur means is that I am not going to be tonguing these notes. So you can see um, my slur line underneath uh, these two notes here. Kind of looks like a smiley face when I put the circle around it like that. But um, we're just going to tongue the first note. So we're going to da on the first note and the second note, we're going to move to the low note. I like to call these tacos because we're going to start with the ah sound and move to the o oh sound so it'll be like this inside your mouth da o oh, and it kind of sounds like taco and tacos are good anytime so here we go some tacos <laughs> Now, you might have seen my mouth move a little bit here. When we do this, when we, ad we adjust the inside of the mouth from a mid-range note like the G, ah, that's doing the ah sound, then we move to the low note, oh, and drop the jaw, you're going to see that a little bit. So I'm going to do that so you can look up close. Here's da o. Oh. You see that adjustment that happens? So um, this is these are what we call partial. So anytime we have the same fingering and we can move between different notes, those are the partials. So we're going from the partial G to C. So the mid-range to the low partial. Okay, so let's do this together. Do oh, these are both open notes, so I'm not going to use any fingering on these at all. Uh, just make sure I have great body posture and I'm focusing on going high to low. Aim for the low note. My turn. So when you go for the low note, um, I say aim for that low note because you're going to move the jaw down. And in order to focus that, you really need to focus the air a little bit stronger on the low note. So it's not necessarily that it's faster air, but it is more focused air. So as you play them, as you're experimenting with these in the beginning, spend a little more time focusing on making the low note come out clear, and that will help you in the future. All right, so the second part of this is just backwards. So in here, I'm going to start on the C and then go to the G. So this is the O position going to the A. Ah. O, A, ah, and I do need to speed up the air when I go for the G. O, A, ah, so I'm moving the air faster on that partial. So we do want to start with the tongue on this. So this will be do. So watch my mouth closely so you can see what happens. And I missed that one. I hit the E instead. So I need to move my mouth faster. So that's a picture of what's going on on the inside of my mouth. So these are your teeth. And this is what's going on on the inside of my mouth. So if I hit the E, then I'm somewhere in between. But for this lip slur, that's not the note that I want. I want to bypass that note and go to the higher one. You may hear uh, in the course of your brass experience, people tell you that for a higher note, you just use faster air. That's kind of true, but not exactly. Yes, you do need to use faster air. But if I just move my air faster and I don't change the inside of my mouth, I don't get a clear sound on the upper note. So I'm moving my 
my air faster, but it's not focused. But if I change the mouth, then I get faster air and focused air at the same time. And I need to flip my air faster. So let's start back at the beginning of this line. This is measure 37. We're going to start with ah, uh, oh, and then we're going to go oh, ah. Uh. Here we go. So we're in the ah shape, going to O. Backwards, ready, set, and go. So this is uh, an exercise that you're going to need to practice on a regular basis all throughout your French horn career. And uh, later on, we're going to add some different partials to that. We're going to do it in different combinations. Um, but I'm going to wait for a different video to do that after you are comfortable with this line here in this exercise of the mini lip slurs. So good luck as you practice. I will see you next time and where we will cover the articulation exercise down at the bottom of the page. Good luck.